Get out of here, you stupid advertisement noise. How's everybody doing? Let me get all situated. Hello, kitty cat. I hear you making noise. Isn't he so loud and great? Not really. He's annoying. <laughs> Let me get everything turned on here. I've been waiting to turn everything on until, like, I'm going to start. And I don't know if that's, like, a bad choice or... Or not. I don't know if it matters. I don't know if any of you care. Probably not, but that's fine. Also, hi, there. Hi, hello. There's my face. How we doing? All right. I think that's everything. I think that's everything turned on that I wanted to be turned on. So, I did play this a little bit off stream. I know. Bad. I'm a baddie. Um Because I wanted to just, like, get the ball rolling a little bit on building our house and that kind of stuff. Uh, I did become a werewolf because I always do. I don't like being a vampire. I like to be a werewolf. So I did become a werewolf. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like worked on um, our like house a little bit and did some little, you know, side questy poo poos. And that's kind of it. I really didn't do too much. Oh, I went all the way up to. Um, uh, the middle of frickin' no man's land and got the steed stone. That is something that I did. Sort of embers, sky forge, steel. Well, that I'm not gonna do anything with. Blessed steel, war axe. What was I doing? Was I doing something? The squire? Necklace of the squire increases your shit restoration spells well i should be wearing that instead uh why did i come here oh i was gonna sell some things and then i was gonna go up to uh dragon's reach to use the enchanter's table because i don't have one yet i do got a cute little bug on my butt though look at my little bug's butt but yeah it is a skyrim kind of day Lucian streamed Skyrim early this morning, and then I think Emma and her munchkin streamed it this afternoon, but I missed it. I missed it. We were doing shit. Hello, Kaboom and stuff. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. But yeah, Emma streamed it in the afternoon, and now I'm streaming it in the evening, so it's all Skyrim all day over here. Oh, I need a beverage. Um, I'm delicious. I'm having a tea. I haven't had a hot tea in a while and my throat hurts so i want a tea i had like this terrible allergy attack at like five o'clock this morning and it was not fun and i ended up only i fell back asleep for a little bit maybe like another hour or so afterwards but then i was just i was just up i was just up could not fall back asleep and I've been up since then. I didn't really do too much today, though. We just kind of hung out. Lucian's never seen uh, Twin Peaks. And I love that show. It's one of my favorites. So I've been having him watch through it with me since he's never seen it. I think he's enjoying it so far. But it's a, it's a weird show. <laughs> I really can't even, like, explain it. If you've never seen it, it's like... There's way too much going on in that show to uh, to explain it to you, but that's kind of what we did like for most of the day today was watch Twin Peaks. Oh, oh, Quicksilver! I need that. Give me that, you bitch. And then I think it's the Grand that I need also. And then we should be able to finish up our other stuff. I don't need that. I do want this. I don't need that. I don't need any of this crap. I'm just gonna sell it. Whatever. The wolf armor I'm keeping. This plus 30 speech crap. No. Illusion. Cure disease. I'm a werewolf. Um, bah -bah. Regeneration. Health regeneration. I'll keep that. Those are all poisons. I'll keep those. I'm never gonna use that scroll. We'll sell that stinky fish. I picked up a basket and a clothes iron on accident, so we'll sell those. Hello, Emma! Welcome to the stream! Have to raid Boar. Is Boar, is Boar playing Skyrim too, or is he playing Oblivion? Or Morrowind? Also, thank you very much for the biddies. 69 biddies! I appreciate you. I was just talking about you. 
not in a bad way, just saying that you guys were playing a scrim earlier and I missed it. I missed it. You know what's wrong with Skyrim these days? You're in it. How about that one? <laughs> All right, let's go to our house. I did work on our house a little bit, but not a ton. Not a whole lot. Told Bor that you were leaving his stream for mine. He said, screw you. He he thinks I'm a dude. <laughs> He's playing Halo. Heard that. I know for a fact that like three of the three of you left his stream to come here. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I didn't even know Bor was on. Did he start like the same time that I did? Or has he been on for a little while? I looked and the only person I saw that was on that like you guys would also, um... That you guys would also know um, is Camel. I didn't even see he was on. If he's still on, though, we can definitely we can definitely raid Boar if he's still on. Also, apologies if I like start to cough and die. <coughs> I have been having terrible allergy problems all day today. All right, I need nails, glass, and an iron ingot, ingle, ingle, pingle. Nails, glass, another iron ingot, a gold ingot, and refined moonstone. I have all that shit outside. I don't know why I didn't grab it. Because I'm stupid. That's why. He was all tell them to come here. So it'd be funny if you raided afterwards. We can def- if he's, if he's still on and he's in- I mean, Boar usually streams for a pretty long time. So I don't imagine he, that he will be done. I'm not- um, I'm not going as long, uh, as long tonight as I, as I like normally would. So I'm fairly confident that he will still be on when I'm done. Uh, let's make some stuff here. He streams for like 12 hours. I know. And like, I never remember him. Um, I never remember Boar streaming for that long. Like, maybe he did, and I'm just crazy. Like, I never remember his streams being uh, being that long. But, like I said, I, I they probably were, and I just wasn't around all the time. Yeah, the, la the one time, the couple times that I raided him, um, he didn't realize that I was Lucian's girlfriend, and he thought I was a dude. <laughs> I was like, Bor, you should know me. All right, Alchemy Lab, Chanter. Oh yeah, screw it. We'll put a mud crab on the wall. Why and not? So there's that stuff that I wanted to get put up. And I think I'm gonna put the wool farmer on this mannequin for a hot minute. Cause uh, why not? Uh, give, give. Oh my God, you look so beautiful, mannequin. I can't deal with your beauty. And then I can go in here. And take the soul gems out of here. I don't have... Uh, put that in there. I don't have soul trap yet. Which makes me sad. Because I like to enchant things. And I'm keeping those. Don't worry about it. We're just... We're keeping them. It's fine. But I, uh, I like to enchant things, but we don't have the, uh, thing yet. I don't have it. I must have been picking ingredients the last time I was playing, because I have a ton of them in my inventory. Nern roots. But do I have scaly fellatio? No. That's not what it's really called. That's what I call it. There's children outside yelling in the parking lot. I can hear them. Uh, a dance in the fire. Fire, walk with me. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen Twin Peaks, you should fucking watch it. You should watch it a thousand times like I have. You'll love it. You'll love it. Filling up my bookshelves with some books. Literally the only reason I pick up books is to put them on these bookshelves like that's 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 it there's no other reason to pick them up except for that what is this explorer's guide to skyrim Ooh, i want that i want that book give it to me and then i think we're gonna put the poopy letters in here apologies we're we're cleaning we're cleaning house a little bit here 
Bum, bum, bum. I need to keep those other ones in my inventory. All right. He's been streaming longer, more off, longer, more often lately. Yeah, you, yeah, that's what I was saying. I thought, I'm pretty sure it used to be like three or four hours, but it just seems like it's been so long. Found out about Boar recently. I know Boar through Emma and and Lucian. Um, Boar, I always miss his stream. So like, it's not that there's like a reason I'm not there. I just always miss them because he tends to he, if he is streaming a lot of times we end up streaming at the same time which is just unfortunate um and he streams a lot later than i'm up a, a decent amount of the the time so i just end up i just end up missing his streams like way too often all right but i did go get the steed stone uh off stream and do a couple couple little things mannequins get yeah i don't really like them either but we'll dress that guy up i guess there's like a glitch kind of a thing that in um in one of the houses the mannequins will like move around and it's creepy and weird i'm just gonna put all these soul gems in that bag and we are Ready to go adventuring, I suppose. Oh, let's put the Skyforge axe. Let's hang it up. Maybe not. Should we hang it up? Mm, uh, it's kind of small. Maybe we'll just put it in here. Because I don't want to, like, get rid of it. But I'm, I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need it. So we'll just put it away. Okay. There. Now we can actually play. <laughs> Now we can begin to play the game. That's why they scare you. Yeah, because they randomly move around. True story. Oh, delicious tea. The scaly fellatio. Yeah, that's just what I call that one mushroom. I don't even pay attention to it. What it's actually supposed to be. Uh, we'll just go here. That's fine. It's fine. How the bookshelf is full, though, there's clear. Yeah, there's clearly 100%, uh, 100% still room, but, you know. It's, hello? Oh, I don't have time for you. I can't fucking see anything. It's too dark for this shit, Mr. Dragon. You'll just have to fuck right off. I'm busy. I don't have time for you. I have time to pick that tundra cotton, though. Dead things. All right, he found somebody else to bother. Do you guys like my little? You like my little bug? My little bu My little bug butt. Look at my little bug in my butt. Oh, shut up. Like a zebra or some crap. Is it attacking me? No. I can't see jack shit. It's so dark. can still move in player houses too. You've had it happen. I don't know that I've had it happen in the Falkreath house. I think I've had it happen in other houses, but not that one. <laughs> oh, so I have a, I have a mod installed called Animalia and it adds animals that aren't in the game. Like it adds a bunch of animals. Ow. I feel like I walked right into this camp. And that was not my intention. I definitely did. Okay. Yeah. I can't see anything. Stop moving. I can't see you. Hold still, bitch. I can't see you. We're playing a dual wield character. We're dual wielding. We're doing a lot of things differently than how I normally play. I like to run tank characters a lot, but we are running a dual wield character, which I've never fully completed a playthrough as a dual wield character. 
And I'm using light armor, which is really strange for me because I always use heavy armor, so. We'll see how this goes because I'm very much used to just charging in and killing people because normally I use heavy armor and wear, wear full heavy armor and use a two-handed axe. So it's really weird to me to be using light armor. I never do it because I like to run big tankies. Big tanky poo poos. Oops. Yeah, but I have this mod called Animalia and I really like it. There's a ton of different animals that it adds. I couldn't even tell you. My magicka is low. I don't need that. My health, I'm much more concerned about. <laughs> Die, bitch! She didn't even have nothing. Thinks she's so cool. With her, with her nothing. There should be like moon forge weapons up here. Yeah, there we go. Lunar, whatever. Oh, my thing turned off because I was crouching. That little lantern is like a smart lantern or whatever. So if you're crouching, it thinks that you're in stealth. So it turns itself off. Never seen them move. Might you just be standing in a random spot in the house? Oh God. Have a mod that makes it darker. Don't remember the game being this dark. Okay, so it's not a, um, oh, I just got soul trap though. So that's badass. We'll have to destroy that weapon so that we can get it. Um, so it's part of the weather mod that I use. Um, it adds like darker nights to the game. Um, so that's why I got the little torch, the little torch bug so that I could always have a, a light on for me. So at least it's a little bit lighter just in front of my face. Um, but it's part of, it's part of my weather mod. You can, uh, you can set it to different things. Oh, hey, Camel, thank you very much for the raid. I very much appreciate you, sir. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. How is everybody doing? Hello, Ava Maya. How are you doing? I hope you guys had a nice, uh, a visit when you got to hang out. I know Camel said he had a great time. So it's good to see you too. How were you guys this evening? I saw you were playing some Stardew Valley. Always a good time. But yeah, thank you for the raid. I very much appreciate it. How was Stardew this evening? Did you guys have anything crazy happen? I saw you had the, uh, you got the meteor to show up the other day. And all that good stuff. I saw that on the tweet, on the tweet tweets. The tweeter tweeters. Was a good time for sure. I actually lost track of time. Hey, it happens, right? Have you guys both played uh, Stardew before, or is it your first playthrough of it? I love some Stardew Valley. But if you guys don't know Camel and Ava, you should definitely go swing by and say hello to everyone, because they're very nice and lovely people. I'm gonna shoot you in the face. Bam! Oh, I missed. <laughs> JK, I'm not gonna shoot him in the face, I missed. Um, what? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know why it did that. Rolling in the money currently and unsure of what to do. So you've played it previously. Gotcha. It's always, like, hard to figure out what you want to do when you get to a certain point and you just have unlimited amounts of money. Especially when there's two of you playing, I feel like it's it's easier to, to come by money because you both can fish and whatever. Um... Once you already have, like, everything upgraded, I don't know what to even do with the money at that point, you know? Because there's only so much you can buy. Um, there's only so much you can buy and so much you can upgrade for your, you know, for your farm. So it always gets rough, like, once you get to a certain point and you're like, oh, what do I do? What do I do with all this money I have? What a good problem to have though, right? Always good to have way too much money than not enough money in that kind of a game. Alrighty, I'm gonna uncrouch here. 
do that. And there should be a couple more. Yeah, there it is. So there should be a few of those like lunar potions. I'm pretty excited that we have that um, uh, snare, soul snares thing. Because I should be able to get soul trap from that. And I like to put soul trap on my bow. And then just kind of pick things off. Uh, you can go, uh, I think there's like another, I think there's like another lever somewhere, something, you can go back there or something. I don't remember. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I don't care. <laughs> <We're leaving. laughs> Have that problem. Yeah. Really just got to get a few things uh, for the center and then that'll be done. Yeah, and sometimes it's like you have to wait to be able to get everything for the center. I notice that I'll always be missing something that's like for winter or whatever. So I can't even like just finish it the way that I would want to. Did I even do what I was supposed to do? I did. Collect bounty from Preventus Von Duschwaffel. We'll go get it then. There we go. Oh, there we go. Harvest Moon. One of the life solutions your character dies after 10 years. Oh, well, that makes sense. It's Ava's first time play through that. Oh, see, that's nice, though, because, like, you you know what you're doing. Whether you finished it or not, you know, you know what you're doing, so you're able to help her out to know what's going on. I played it with um, Lord Way once. And it was his first, his first time playing it. And I feel like I super overloaded him with information and made it seem way more complicated than it really was. But I told him he should play it. He should play it on his own and get a feel for it, you know? And then of course, as he has, has any questions or whatever, he can ask me, but. Divines bless you. Yeah, I did the thing. Excellent. Done us a great service. Here is your reward. Your reward. Thanks, bud. I think that there might be an unusual gem in here. Uh huh. I'm just looking for an unusual gem. I think there's one in here. There might not be, though. Yep, there it is. Boo boo. It's mine now. Goodbye. You don't need it anyway. Dragon or giant will be ready. Humped in the other week, you guys were talking about it. Oh, heard that. Yeah, I think, I I mean, I enjoyed it. I had fun playing it with him, but I definitely feel like I overloaded him with information and told him just like way too many things at the start and uh, super, super, super overwhelmed him with the game. Because <laughs> if he asked me something, I was, you know, I was explaining it to him because I don't mind. But I definitely was like, oh, you can do this and 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 do this. I can cheat here and get it for a free house. Oh, I don't mind. I'm building that other house. I, the Falk Reef, uh, Falk Reef Manor House is my favorite house in the game. Like, it's my favorite property out of the properties that you can buy. I don't know what my favorite just, like, regular house is. Oh, I'm an idiot. Ugh, I should have gone, I should have gone into What's-His-Face's thing and, uh, destroyed those weapons. I'll just go home and do it. Whatever. I'll just go home and do it. Ugh. So, I'm only able to do two streams this week due to work. We, uh, are opening back up to 50% finally after being 25% for what seems like 9,000 years. They opened back up to 50% this past Monday and I've been, I've been off, uh, Monday and Tuesday. So I don't know how anything went, but they are reopening to the fifth. They did reopen to the 50%. So, um, they're giving everybody more shifts, which is nice because they had our shifts like kind of limited actually because they just didn't have that many people that they could schedule. They didn't have anywhere to like places to put anybody. So it's nice, but it also means I'm working more now. 
Uh, we have two of the lunar swords, so I'll destroy one of those. And then... Uh, I don't really have any nice soul gems, though, to use. The nicest one I have is a common one. I don't know that I want to use a common one. Um, I'm going to grab... Probably just the lesser and the petty one. Actually, I don't need any because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna enchant it. Oopsie poopsie. Don't need any if I'm not gonna enchant it. What else did I pick up? Those couple weapons, some food, and some stuff that goes outside. All right. Uh, nah, it's green. We'll hang this one up. It's green. There we go. And I'll just put the other ones away. I'm probably never going to use them, so I don't know why, but it keeps unfavoriting these. Is it because I can only have one favorited? I guess so. It's really annoying. It keeps, I'm dual, since I'm doing the dual wield, like I want to have them both favorited so I can do that, but then it like keeps unfavoriting one of them. Petty soul gems, right? Jerk ass soul gems. Did I level up? I did. Hooray for me. Uh, we'll put another one in hell. Why not? And let's see. Enchanting. Smithing. It's so weird to me to be doing one-handed because I never do one-handed. Light armor. What do we got here? How do I not have 30 yet? That's so freaking annoying. Um, I can't do the little like tuck and roll yet, but I'm going to go ahead and take this one and then we're going to try to work up to get deadly aim because I do snipes too. Hi. What you talking about, kitty cat? He's a chatty boy. We'll go ahead and take that too because I had another perk thing that I didn't use. All right. What do we want to do? Assassinate the Silver Hand Leader. I will give it a try. All right, where is that at? Up in a cave. Oh my. I guess we'll go to a cave. I drank that really loudly. I'm sorry. My throat hurts. It's been bothering me all the fucking day. Ugh. I think I've, I've got the vapors. I'm going to succumb to the vapors. <laughs> I know. I'm not petty. You're petty. <laughs> a fire. Um, no, my throat's been bothering. I think I said this a little bit ago, but my throat's been bothering me all day. I have like terrible allergies. And every time that I say I have terrible allergies, people are like, oh, you got Rona. You're dying. And I'm like, I'm fine. Like, I just have really bad allergies. Can we not like you know, be hoping for my death or whatever the fuck is happening. Yeah. So I had like a really nasty allergy like attack this morning and then I didn't get enough sleep and I've been kind of like Ugh, all day, but I didn't want to cancel the stream or reschedule it because rescheduling can't happen. I don't have an extra day to do it because of extra work this week and I hate canceling them. Especially when I, like, don't have as many days to stream during the week since I'm going to be back to my more full work schedule finally. <coughs> so I was like, nah, nah, I'll just do it still and I'll drink a tea and we'll see how it goes. But I don't know. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming tonight. It may end up being a little bit shorter just because I'm not feeling super stellar. I'm going to see if we can catch some salmon. Because then we can use the row for ingredients. 
follow. I very much appreciate it. I say welcome for the follow. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day today. I hope you have a good time in this stream. Any other future streams, you might stop by and you get one of these. Welcome to the Dog Pound. <laughs> but thank you very much. I hope you have a good time. Eyes are super dry, have a bad cough at night, but you always have this time of year. I know. And that's the thing is, is like, I have, I've had allergies my like whole life, you know, but with everything going on, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm dying. <laughs> like, this is it for me. I think everybody's doing that though. Like you have a little sniffle and you're convinced that this is the end. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, uh, I have asthma and like, all kind. I have lung problems. So it's just like everything allergy wise is probably like not as bad for other people. Like I get bronchitis and then I'm just like, Ugh, you know, and especially since I waitress, like people will think I'm ill and it's like, I'm not though. Like, I swear to you, I'm fine. Especially now, like, I don't want to have to have a cough or something and go into work and have everyone think I'm infecting them. We, are, we wear masks and, and gloves at my job anyway, so. But I definitely would understand if, like, people were like, I don't want you to wait on me. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm sorry. I understand. I think it'll be fine by tomorrow, though. I think it'll be fine by tomorrow. Mostly, I think my throat hurts from coughing so much this morning. I didn't cough at all the entire rest of the day. It was just this morning when I was, like, having problems. And I think I just coughed a lot, and it just made my throat meat hurt real bad. Simon, yeah, fast way to make my... Yeah, asthma fam! Heck yeah, asthma fam! And then... Since I have asthma and my lungs are sucky, um, anytime that I get any kind of a cold or something, um, I can't breathe for forever. Like, it's just bad. I, like, automatically get bronchitis, no questions asked, and I suffer and end up having to use my rescue inhaler, like, a ton. Like, I don't use an everyday inhaler anymore. I just have a rescue inhaler at this point um, for, uh, like, emergencies and whatever. But, uh, you know, still not a good time. What was that? It was ah. your mum. <sighs> Shit. But yeah, I just have I just have the rescue inhaler now for emergencies, but I definitely still have times that I have to use it. All right, let's see how this goes. We want to do that. I'm going to put a poison on there. Let's put a Do I just have like damage health poison or something? Uh, poison? Hello. I thought I made some. Maybe I sold them. Mmm. I guess we'll use that. Oh, alright. Ragdoll, baby. Where'd the other one go? Wasn't there another guy? Somebody was shooting at me. Yeah, where are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, victory is mine. Shut your fucking mouth. There we go. But, you know. It is, it is what it is, and I, my throat hurts. Long, super unnecessary story short, my throat hurts. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'm streaming. Also, hello, that Moogle chick. Welcome to the stream. How are you today? I hope you're having a fantabulous afternoon, morning, evening. Whatever time it is where you're at. 
I have a rescue and a daily. I used to have a daily when I was younger. Um, I, so I didn't always have asthma. I like contracted it. Um, from, uh, I used to do swimming at school. Um, like swim team, like, like that kind of a thing. And I was really, really, really good at it. And I'm super bummed that I wasn't able to keep doing it because that was like the sport that I probably should have like been able to do. That was probably my best sport out of all the sports I played in high school, middle school, high school. Um, but I found out that I'm allergic to chlorine and they didn't know that at the time. And they kept telling my mom that I just had bronchitis. Um, that it was just something that all the kids that do swim team go through where they have to get used to being around the chlorine um, indoors and to not worry about it. So my mom was like, all right, you're fine. And was sending me to practices and meets and stuff because we didn't know that I was fucking allergic because in outdoor swimming situations, I literally never had a problem. My grandma used to have a pool at her house when she was still alive and whatever. So I never had a problem with chlorine like ever. And all of a sudden when I started this like indoor swimming competitions and whatever, I just kept getting really, really, really sick all the time. And my mom was finally like, this is just not right. Like they keep saying that, you know, it's just bronchitis or it's just, it's just this or it's just that. But like this just has been going on for way too long. So she kept taking me back to the doctor and they kept saying like, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. And she was like, I'm pretty sure it's not fine. Like this has been months of you just saying that this is fine and it's obviously not. So then they found out that I was allergic to chlorine in an indoor, in an indoor, in an indoor setting where it's not like ventilated well, I will have like really, really bad problems. So it was just literally like awful. I would go to school and then I would be just like coughing so much that they would uh, like immediately call my mom to come get me. I think I missed like collectively it might have been like two maybe two and a half to three months of school where I still did all the work and stuff at home but like I wasn't in classes because they just kept sending me home like it was super bullshit. Oh, they do. They put way too, they do. They definitely put way too much chlorine in. I mean, I understand why they over chlorinate them. Cause like there's some nasties that go to pools, but like it was mostly that it's not mostly. It just wasn't ventilated well enough. So you're in there and then you're just constantly breathing in chlorine and like ammonia and whatever else. And it just like fucking wrecked my lungs like real bad. <laughs> so, you know, that was a fun time. But it wasn't my mom's fault. Like, she felt really bad about it. Like, I kept sending you there and, like, you know, clearly it was not going well. And I was like, you didn't, like, do it on purpose, you know. She wasn't like, yeah, I hope you get asthma. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hi, Doodlebug. Welcome to the stream. So sorry. I ended up getting car sick, headache, and nausea, and still sick, even though you've been home for so Oh, I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Say, if you just want to chill and relax and hang out, take a nap. I am total. I will survive. But I appreciate you stopping by, though. I'm sorry you're not feeling well. We can just be sickies together. And I, you know I feel you on the car Oh, hello. Oh. Oh my god, it's a bear. Get out of here, bear. No. 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 Eh. Die. You're not a normal Skyrim bear. Ah, fucking Christ ass. <laughs> uh, I died. <laughs> uh, oh, look, Sang 
Queen's Rose. <laughs> I miss my heavy armor, children. Oh, do I miss it. Well, we're not doing anything except going back to turn in that quest. So I'm just going to wander down here again. I'm just trying to get some ingredients. I always figure, why not wander around for a hot minute? I think we're ignoring you. Got super sick. Like, almost, almost threw up minutes before we were home. Oh, no, no, no. You're fine. I figured you were just busy. I just figured you were busy. I wasn't sitting there like, that bitch, how dare she? No. I figured, yeah, I just figured that, did I just die? What the fuck just happened? Where am I going? Oh, we died again. Okay. <laughs> I, fi I figured that you were just busy. That you guys went, you guys went out to get dinner or whatever, you know? Jesus. Yeah, give me the fail, Barney. 100%. I deserve it. I thought we could just, like, glide down the waterfall all nice, but apparently it's death time. There we go. You know, this is the Skyrim, the Skyrim town of wandering down fucking mountains. What is this? Is this not one that has the bear in it? Like, is that what happened? I think it is. I think this is the one that has the bear in it. We didn't have bear. Krabby Patty. Hello? Oh, I'm taking that. No, you're fine. Wait, why can I just, like, take your shit and you don't care? Shouldn't you care a little bit about me taking all your stuff? Apparently not. She don't give two, two, two craps. Mom always feels guilty in your stories, like when she killed the frog. I know! <laughs> True story. I was saying, anytime that something weird like that happens, she always blames herself. Like, oh, I should Did you guys see that? Flying fish called Flish. <laughs> but she does, she always blames, she always blames herself when something weird like that happens that, like, she had zero control over. She's like, it's my fault. I'm the worst parent in the world. And it's like, mom, it was fine. I lived. It's okay. No, leave me alone. You're mean. I don't want to be your friend, you stinky bear. Go eat that deer or something. Just, like, leave me alone. Where'd he go? He's gone. All right. Well, let's save. Been busy dying. Yeah, such a biatch. <laughs> Immediately, I was like, that bitch, how dare she? <laughs> Now, anytime that, like, you take a minute to text me back or something, I just always figure that, uh, I just always figure that you, you are doing something. You're busy doing things. Oh, no worries, little bug. I hope you feel better. Uh, text me later on if you feel like it, just to let me know if you're feeling better or not. And if you fall asleep or something, don't worry about it. But I hope you feel better. And we will see you. When do you feel better? We'll see you soon, hopefully. But no, no worries at all. We died again. Yes, I'm going to have to look at that one. I'm going to have to check it out. Ugh. Did you guys do anything fun this past weekend? Anybody do anything interesting? I just, I just worked, so I didn't. But maybe you did. Maybe you guys live interesting lives. Literally, all I do is I'm either at work or I stream or I'm, like, making food <laughs> or I'm at Target. <laughs> and that's kind of it. I'm not a big shopper and I don't like large crowds. So I'm, like, I never go anywhere. I just kind of hang out. Except when I have to go to work. A damn phone. Oh, I'm definitely not going as late tonight as I normally do just because my throat's bugging me um, from my vicious allergy coughing asthma fit I had fucking this morning. Um, so I'm probably only going till like 930 or so. So not as not as late as usual. 
not as late as usual, but like I said, if you're still not feeling well, it's totally fine. I'm not worried about it. Don't you come trying to eat my face, you stupid. Ow, he bit me. Eh. Go away. He bit me. Maybe set your niece Friday and then your sister came over Saturday with you. How was that, though? That's nice that you've been able to see them so much lately. I, oh, I'm allowed to actually say stuff now. I keep forgetting. I was going to title my stream about it. I keep forgetting. Um, I'm going to be an aunt. My brother and his wife are having a baby, and I'm finally allowed to talk about it. <laughs> They, uh, I was waiting until they put their announcement up on social medias, uh, to say anything so that, you know, nobody stole their thunder or anything with them getting to make their own announcement. But yeah, I'm gonna have a niece and or nephew. They don't know yet. So that's always fun. Well, well, I don't know. It might not be. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna be yet. Is that moose? Like, oh, okay, cool. I thought you were gonna, like, attack me or something. And I was like, that's kind of weird. You will, though. Oh, alright. Or you'll just fuck off. You gonna come back? You gonna come back at me, kitty cat? You thinking about it? You thinking about it? Guess what? I missed. <laughs> There, you did. Text me later, though. Definitely. Sounds like a plan. But I will hear from you later on and see how everything is going. And hopefully you're feeling better by then. Because I know how that goes with the headaches and things. Because you know I get migraines, so. Hi. Oh, okay. I don't know what I did to you, but. Uh, why are you coming at me, brah? What? What did you say, bitch? <laughs> he died. Oh, he had a poison, though. I'll sell those. I'm so tempted to put them on because I'm just so used to always using heavy armor. I'm like, mm, I don't want to use this, this stinky... The stinky light armor. I miss my heavy armor. It's a lot of fun. Because they aren't your kid. You only have to deal with the fun part. And not, really, and not the raising part. Yes. See, I'm not a baby and or child person. Um. Oh, look at that. Look at these lantern physics. Yeah, blow in the wind, little lantern. I love dumb little mods like that. Like silly little immersion mods like that make me so happy. Um, I So I have a niece and nephew. Well, I say that they're my niece and nephew. Technically, they're, I guess, actually my second cousins because it's my cousin's kids. Um, but my niece there is five and then her younger brother is two. So I'm used to like with them, but I don't see them super, super, super often. Um, like we're close with them. They don't live far away, but we don't get together super often. So, um, I think that I'll probably see like my brother's child more than, more than, than theirs. So I didn't really like, I wasn't like around all the time with them when they were like new, but I'm just not a, I've never really been a, a baby and or child person. That's been like, oh yeah, let me hold your baby or whatever. I've only held a baby, um, like remembered holding a baby once. Cause I obviously would have held my brother. I have a younger, I have a younger brother. So I would have held him when he was like little, but I don't remember that at all. Um, I did hold my nephew once at Christmas, like last year when he was like a year old for like 10 minutes because it was an emergency situation <laughs> that was the only time and the whole time I was like please don't barf on me or cry or like do anything just just exist and until I can give you back 
was was pretty much what happened. <laughs> They just, uh, I get really uncomfortable. Because I'm like, ooh, what if it cries or, or, or does something, you know? You know, what is it with frickin' bears, dude? I'm, like, really done with these bears. Where are you going? Now you're gonna run away? That brown bear that took me out, like, real quick, that's one of the ones that's in the mod, and I think it's, like, a higher tier than a regular bear. Oh, oops, where did I go? I must have gone into a cave or something. Favorite mod for Skyrim is the mod, which gives all the horses armors based on the hold they come from from Skyrim. Oh, like the horse armor mod? The one that was like making fun of the horse armor mod. I should get, I should get some more mods. I just recently was able to download mods again. I didn't mean to come in here. We'll come back later. I don't even know what this is. I don't know where we are. It was an accident. You stupid bears. How dare they? All right. Uh, well, we finished the quest we were doing. Let's go turn this quest in. I have a really bad habit, and maybe you guys won't say it's a bad habit, but I have a, I have a bad habit of, I cannot fast travel when there's enemies nearby. There's nobody here. Oh, slaughterfish. Uh, cool. Love that. Stupid fish. Uh, I have a really bad habit of whenever I finish a quest of just wandering around. But I feel like it's, like, it's fun, though, because I'm looking for ingredients and I'm looking for quests and just random things and we're killing stuff and getting experience. And it's not really a big deal. I love just wandering around in this game and looking for things and finding things. I did find the giant crab, the giant dead crab, when I was playing off stream because I was playing with this save um, off stream just to get it a little bit more flushed out with the house and stuff, like... Pretty much I was just doing some random stuff to get some money. Random things to get some money and work on the, the building the house a little bit so that there was less less of that on stream. Because that's not always necessarily something that people want to see, you know. Same thing as when I play Fallout. I tend to not really do any settlement building um, on stream because, like, it's just not something... It's just not something that everybody wants, you know. Easiest mod installer ever built in. Yeah, this one in Fallout 4's uh, mod and like uh, mod installers. I haven't used them since I do. Use, well, you know that since I do use the Nexus, but um, they're fairly easy. You can just go into the mod hub that's right there. But you want it. Hello, Lord of Ways. How are you, sir? Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostility. I came to Dragon's Reach to tell you you're a dragon's bitch. See, I don't have any soul gems. And I don't want to buy any. Ah! Uh, I guess we could just use the common soul gem that I have on the bow. I'd rather use a nicer, like a, a better one than that. But but I don't want to buy one. Of course you are. One hundred percent. Oh, I gotta give this quest to Ayla or Ayla. <coughs> I'm dying. Ugh. I'm tired. I was tired all day too, but that's just because I woke up. I've been running hey, baby. You've been bringing the battle to the Silver Hand. Yeah, yeah, they're dead. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them. What's our next the target? Hand has been Wuthrod. Out in the rift. Okay. Get it back for the honor of us all. Alrighty, I'll work on it. Emma Skyrim stream was good. Oh, I missed it. I was just talking to her earlier. Uh, when she had popped, when she had popped in. And I was like, damn it, I missed it. That's when we were out doing some things. And then, uh, 
Of course you don't. We had to drop my car off. This is, okay, so I was pissed about this. So we had to drop my car off at my parents' house because they are doing some kind of sealant thing here at the apartment. Um, some kind of sealant thing that they're doing. Um, scaly fellatio. But they're, they're doing kind of some kind of fucking sealant thing, um, on the, like, main drag into our, like, apartment or whatever. And they were like, hey, if you, if you need to leave your apartment tomorrow, you have to have your car moved by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and then you can't park it anywhere. Like, there's nowhere to park it around here that is easily accessible. Like, I would have to walk up and down a giant hill to and from my car in my work clothes uh to park it where they wanted us where they wanted us to park the cars because i have to go to work tomorrow so like i can't not have a vehicle so i had to take my car and leave it at my mom's and then have my mom take me from her house back home and then tomorrow morning she has to come pick me up and take me back to her house so that i have my car from her house like it's really 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 annoying magica i don't need that fortify marksman na, 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 na. hey ella got all beautified yes that's botox of skyrim and some people really hate that mod and other people really like it some people don't like it because it does tend to make the ladies all look a little similar because it blurs out their faces a little bit. Um, none of them have dirt on them um, or anything like that. So I understand why some people don't like it, but I, I like it. I like my super, my super overly, overly beautified ladies. <laughs> but obviously to each, to each his own. I understand why people don't like it. You know what's it's wrong. uh it's really definitely good. it definitely can come off as a bit um a bit extreme for sure all right what do we want to do destroy the vampire vignar that's barbess find red eagle's bane the red eagle sword oh let's go find armin sword that's what the blind guy uh i'll go to the hunting 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 brew meadery we'll make our way down yeah, it's lit it's literally called Botox of Skyrim is literally what it's called. Yeah, it is. It's 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 that's ser that's seriously what it's called is Botox of Skyrim. I like it. It only does stuff to the ladies though. Um so it's not it's not an all in it's not an all inclusive mod. It only does stuff to the ladies. It's a se it's a sexist mod. It's terrible. But most of, uh, mo oh, there goes some birds. Most of the mods I use are either texture, adding extra plants. Uh, I did one for the signs just to make them a little bit easier to read because I can't fucking see. <laughs> I'm blind. I need new glasses so bad. Like, you guys don't even know. <laughs> yeah, say Kaboom, Kaboom's not, Kaboom's not a friend, not a friend, not a fan of the, of the, uh, the Botox of Skyrim mod, but... Um, yeah, it's definitely not, it's not for everyone. And I totally understand why people don't like it because it does tend to make the, the ladies all look a little bit, a little bit similar. And then Animalia is the one I'm using that's adding all the extra creatures. That's one of my favorites. That one in Vivid Weathers are probably two of my favorites. And I'm really enjoying this other one I got that's Festivals of Skyrim. Like, we had a Halloween. There was a Halloween festival. There were carved pumpkins everywhere. Like, I'm really digging that one. I'm also liking the one that I got that adds all the extra birds. Um, you can kill the birds for alchemy ingredients. I did manage to kill a bird um, off, off stream as well when I was working on the house and stuff. So, you get unique uh, crafting ingredients from the birds that are added in. Um... So it added, it added in like increase of bird noises and stuff like that when you're in the forest and then randomly you'll see them 
flying around or little groups of them on the ground and whatever. If you startle them, they'll, you know, fly away. And I really like little, little immersive mods like that. Um, I wasn't even going to bother you. And then you're just like all up in my grill, dude. Whoop. He's probably going to kill me. Uh... Shit, fuck. You bitch. Mutually assured destruction, right? Sounds of Skyrim. I saw that one um, when I was when I was looking at stuff. I saw that one that it was a just enhanced, enhanced soundies and things. But I love this little bird mod and just little stuff like that. I don't know. I just really like little small immersive mods. Like I have that one for the the lanterns of Skyrim, and then the one that added in um, the swaying of the lanterns and the and the signs that just has that like little bit of something to make it slightly more realistic. I don't know. I mean, obviously it's not like, oh my God, look how realistic it is. But I just like little, I love immersion mods. I don't know. Just little slight, little slight immersion mods. And I love my little, my little, my little bug, my little butt bug in a jar so that I have a, uh, a little lantern on me. Cause since I'm dual wielding, I was like, ugh, I don't want to have to hold a torch. So I thought that was a really good option since I'm running a dual a dual wield character to just have the little belt lantern. And you can use it as a regular with a regular lantern too. You don't have to use the torch bug one. It comes with both options. But I just think the little torch bug one is cute. Speaking of birds, I hear lots of birds. I guess the Barney, the Barneys of shame have returned. I'm a failure. All right, I guess we got something else going on up here this time. Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter's note. What does it say here? Close to finding the Dwarven Bow of Torpor. Red Eagle. It's apparently guarded by a Forsworn Briarheart. Well, Forsworns are turds. They're turds, I tell you. The Forsworn actually kicks my ass all the time. Oh, there goes a bird. Oh, there's one. Oh, there he goes. Damn it. They're really hard to kill. I only managed to kill one of them for like, cause they have unique like uh, crafting ingredients or whatever. Um, but I did, I only managed to kill one of them. And the only thing that I will say about the mod that I was like, mm, really was I had to shoot it with an arrow twice. And I was like, pretty sure if you shot a bird with an arrow like that, it would die like immediately and explode. But yeah, I had to shoot it. I had to shoot it twice and I was like, eh. so that was the only, that was the only thing that I was kind of like, really? Cause they're not super easy to kill. Like they, they are, they're fast, you know, cause they're burbs. So they're pretty quick and they don't hold still for very long. So like if you get off a, a shot, you got to do the other one really quickly, you know? be able to kill the burbs. Does stuff like if there's a blizzard and you go inside, you can still hear the blizzard or rain. Also makes caves with the undead have scary sounds. Ooh. Maybe I should look into that then because I would probably really like that one. Oh, yeah, I know. You can just pop up behind them and, and just rip their little, little briar heart rod out of their their chest hole because the hag ravens and whatever. It's not even so much the briar hearts. It's just like the regular ones. Cause it seems like a lot of them dual wield and they're like fast as shit. And then I'm like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> zero, zero deaths guys. We're running zero deaths. JK. We've died a bunch of freaking times. We died a bunch. I think I also have like a weird learning curve for myself as well somebody already up here? Because normally there's like a... Oh, there she is. Oh, it's a guy. All right. Sometimes it's a lady. Um, Because I'm so used to... Uh, 
I'm so used to playing with heavy armor and using two-handed weapons um, that using, like, the, the light armor is really, really, really strange for me. So I'm used to being able to take more damage than I can, you know. So it's a, it's a whole different, it's a whole different setup for me. We're dual wielding, we're using light armor, like, I feel like I put myself on a little bit of a, a little bit of a curve. Just with not being totally comfortable with what I'm doing. Are we too far away? Oh, we might be too far away. Maybe not now. You hooker! Here we go. Eh! Die! I love the Animalia one, though. That's, like, one of my favorite mods. I love having extra animals there. How many do I have at the moment? Ooh! Ah! Uh, oh, I don't know. Definitely not that many. <laughs> Definitely not that many. Um, I probably used to have... Mm, max, I may have had like a hundred and some at some point. Um, but when I had gotten my, my computer that I have now, which I got like, oh, I don't know, like two years ago now almost. Um, I vowed that if there were mods that I ended up not using, um, that I didn't want turned on like all the time that I was gonna, I wasn't gonna keep them. I was gonna uninstall them. So my mod list right now is actually pretty short. I don't have that much installed because in, I decided unless I really, really like something, uh, unless I really, really am liking something and enjoying it, I am, I've been getting rid of stuff because I'm trying to keep it kind of minimalist-ish just so it's easy to, it's easy to sort through and it's easy, it's easy to keep it sorted so that if something weird happens, um, it's not a big deal to have to uninstall and reinstall something or, or turn, turn off a mod or something, deactivate it to know which one is causing a problem. Um, I definitely have way more on Skyrim than I do on Fallout 4, for sure. Look at that deer, doing deer shit. But yeah, I definitely have way more on Skyrim than I do on Fallout 4. But they are, they're all pretty much, um, so many of them are just cosmetic. I don't think I have any installed that have anything to do with, um, I don't have any, any installed that have anything to do with carry weight, um, or making your, like, armor weightless or weapons weightless or anything like that. There, there, a lot of them are all pretty much cosmetic just because I like to have things... Like, I like my water to be a different color. I added water plants. I added a flora overhaul that just adds more plants. The bird one. I have CBBE bodies on the ladies. Uh, that Botox of Skyrim mod. I have one for blended roads, which just makes the roads look slightly nicer. It, every, the other thing is, is like I feel like everything looks nicer in person to me than it does when it gets streamed because I'm not streaming in like 4K or something. So it's, I feel like it's harder to, it's harder to tell. I don't have one of those super fancy, 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 streamy 4K, 8, 8 gig, you know, doodly doos. I wish I did. <laughs> I feel like our internet would explode if I tried to stream at like a, uh, a, a way higher bit rate than I'm at now or whatever. There goes a burb. I don't think it would, I don't think it would go well for me. Sends, uh, sounds of Skyrim on Discord. Oh, thank you. I will definitely take a look at it. I always say that. And then I look at them and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get that. And then I forget. <laughs> and that's what always happens. Change the game up a bit. Uh, I think Skyrim has the most mods for game ever. If not Skyrim, then Minecraft. Yeah, probably. I believe it. I believe it for sure. Yeah, I just like to do like little things to like, um, I just like to do little, little things pretty much to just change what the game looks like more than anything. I don't play with any quest mods or anything like that, really. There's definitely really talented, um, really talented people that make quest mods. 
Um, I'm just not a huge quest mod person for uh, whatever reason. I don't know. No particular reason. I just don't tend to download them. You know, you guys are all going where I can't hit you. And that's annoying. Bitch, quit moving. Oh my god. It's like they're literally waiting until I release the arrow and then they move. What dicks. Well, that was just me being stupid. Oh, so now that you're getting hit, you're just going to stand in one spot. Like, what are you doing, you dumb woman? Yours are all usual visual mods, immersion, or quest mods. Too many of the mods are actually just patches so that all of them work together. Yeah, see, that's the other thing is uh, I'm one of those people that if I'm on, if I'm on the Nexus or whatever, and there's a mod that I'm interested in, like, let's say there's a mod that I'm interested in, but then I go to, I go to download it and it says that you have to have this, 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 and this for this mod to work. I don't get it. I'm always just like, nah, I'm not going to get it then. I always am. I always just don't, uh, I always just don't get it if that's the, um, if that's the, if that's the case. So unless the unless the mods that I look at are pretty are pretty ready to go, um, and they don't require uh, they re if they were if if they require anything else, I end up not uh, I end up not downloading them a lot of the time. Which is unfortunate because sometimes there's some that I would really like to get, but I just don't want to download the extra stuff I need to get them to work, you know? I'm like, I don't have time for that. <laughs> Love quest mods, as long as the voice acting is decent. Yeah, see, that's the problem is like, some of the ones that I've come across, and I understand these are not being like produced by, you know, actual authors, writers, you know, whatever. These are things that people are just kind of doing in their spare time and, and as a passion project and whatever. But sometimes you, you look at the, some of the quest mods and you're like, Oh honey, why? <laughs> like some of them are just really bad. And it is like, these people are doing this for free. They're doing it for fun. Like that's totally fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Like enjoy what you're doing. But I feel like I'm also a little bit too picky with them. I feel like I definitely can be a little bit too picky with too picky with with quest mods where I'm like, meh, well, I could do this or I could just not do it. <laughs> that was just me. I'm going to have to look at that one, too. One of the mods you have, Legacy of the Dragonborn, has like 30 patches. It's ridiculous. But they don't. Oh, they don't count toward the limit. Well, that's good that they don't count towards the limit because that would suck. If there were that that many. The only thing that I've always really wanted to uh, to mess with that I never have is E and B's, like for lighting and stuff like that. Um, I've downloaded uh, E and B's before. Um, I don't download them really that often because I have never been able to successfully install an E and B. And I don't know if it's just because I'm stupid, which is totally possible. Um, if, you know, I'm doing something wrong, um, or E and B's, maybe, maybe E and B's can be difficult to install. Maybe there's like, you have to be very specific with them and mods that you have to go in and actually alter like some of the, the code lines and stuff just in the, the, the any, the dot any file is usually the only place you have to touch stuff. But, um, any of the mods where you have to do that, I get very weary of because I'm worried that I'm going to delete something. 
Um, I'm worried I'm going to delete something that I shouldn't be deleting or I'm going to put something in wrong and it's not only going to like completely tank my, my game and I'm going to have to uninstall it and reinstall it anyway, but that I'm going to like super majorly fuck something up. So I end up not getting those kind of mods that often just because I'm worried that I'm going to, I'm going to like permanently ruin something. I don't even know if you can though, because I feel like if you did fuck something up really bad, as long as you're not going to be upset about like, as long as you're not like upset about using like, or losing like your save data or whatever, which I'm never somebody that really gives a shit. Um, I'm not ever really worried about, um, having to completely uninstall and reinstall a game, but I definitely know people that would be very upset if they lost, if they lost save files, but it doesn't bother me. It's really weird that we got this sword from here. Isn't his sword normally in that cave with the blind guy? I feel like it is. Maybe not. I don't know anymore. There's a cave with a blind guy. But like he's reading a book, but like it's just blank pages because he's blind and it's not a braille book. It's just a regular book. EMB. Oh, they're, um, they're like graphic overhauls. Yeah, there we go. Smoogle Chick Chili. It's, it's a gra- it's a graphic overlay. A lot of them have like, uh, really differing ways that the light is set up in them and stuff and stuff like that. So it's like, sometimes they'll just be, uh, maybe it'll do like a slight color palette swap. So maybe it makes everything a bit more blue or just has different lighting structures for like the way that the lighting is, or usually it's just, it's just stuff like stuff like that. It kind of just changes. It really only changes the appearance. Um, pretty much only changes the appearance, but hi, I hear you. Where is that cave then? It's still over here, isn't it? Yeah, it must be this one that's showing up on my little mini map. I'm pretty sure it's still over in this general area because I'll still go in there. We'll still go in the cave, even though we don't have to. <gasps> A kitty! Oh, hello kitty! Look at the kitty! Look at the kitty! I love you, little kitty. You're so cute. KB, what is a random out bandit outpost? True story. I've definitely had it in a few other places, but most of the time it's always in the same cave. Maybe I just have had a, a weird thing where the percentage or whatever, it's always just in the same cave. Look, a panda! You guys see the panda up there? Immersive! That is the one thing I will say about the Animalia mod that I like a lot. Um, it 100% has animals that um, would not be in this game, but I don't care. <laughs> How often do you get to kill a panda and not go to jail? Never. I feel like it's illegal to kill a panda. Where'd he go? Panda, you hiding from me? Stop. He is. He's running away from me. Probably because I'm trying to kill him. I mean, I'd run away from me too. How do we get up here? I don't even remember. There's a little camp over there. Uh, no. There we go. This looks like we can get up this way. Uh, Most EMVs can just be drag and drop into your install file without having to edit. Always have to edit yours though because you can't stand the super, super blur doff. Yeah, that's the other thing is a lot of them like really mess with the doff and like you can only see stuff really close to you and then everything else looks like shit. So I, I don't know. I've never, I've never actually like installed one correctly. I don't think. 
Where is this stupid cave? it's over here that like this is like where he sends you maybe it's way 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 towards the beginning here it has to be drop your fps or 10 to 20 frames which is downside but they're de yeah that's the thing is they are they're really a lot of them are really pretty to look at but they do they definitely have their downsides and that's another reason why i haven't gotten one besides the fact that i never seem to install them properly is that like i don't want my game to run like total ass <laughs> you know what i mean Unless you have, like, a super, super crazy, 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 crazy nice computer. And, like, my computer's not bad by any means, but I don't think it can handle... I don't think it could handle a super strenuous... A super, super strenuous e &B well. And it's not... It's not a bad computer. I actually really... I really like this computer. I've been very happy with it since I got it, but... I just don't... I don't know. I just don't think it would do well with a... With a super... A super, um... Super taxing ENB. I don't think it would go well. Uh, da, da, some leaks. I'm gonna take that. I think a bird just flew in front of me there. Are they passive? On the other side of the river. Or maybe not. <laughs> no. Um, as far as I'm aware, the pandas are literally just like a reskin of a of the bear. Um, just a recolor of the bear, so they will eat your face. If you get close enough. I just don't think that one saw me. Um, all the extra deer are passive. Um, there's like gazelles and shit. There's wild horses that are passive. Um, I did, however, get killed by one one time. Um, the little kitty cats are passive. There's extra bunnies and stuff like that that are passive. Uh, I couldn't even tell you every single animal that's in it. Like, there's so many. Oh, that was another one I got, a mod I got recently was uh, this animal skin one. Um, all it did was add a couple extra animal skins to the game so that... Who's there? Rodal? Is that you? you? Yeah, it's me. Boss was looking for you. Yeah, I don't care. Um, all it did was add some extra... Um, just some extra animal skins into the game so that whenever you're like going into caves and doing stuff like that um they're they're different there's more for you to look at i never kill that guy because i like feel bad lying to a blind old man and then killing him but it's just like silly little things like that that i end up downloading most of the time those are those are the mods that i care about <laughs> lanterns that swing because it's windy <laughs> And weird animals. <laughs> yeah, the book is blank because he's blind. He's a, that guy's blind. There's a note about it. Let me see if I can find it. Do we even look at this? Adventurer's journal. Bandit's journal. Yeah, note to Rudolph. Uncle has his issues, but he's our watching you respect him. No more sneaking in and out. No more games with his ledger or nails on his chair. And you'll see how... Yeah, because he's, he's blind. So, I never do anything to him because I would feel bad. So you win. I don't know. So you dead? <gasps> you bitch. Killed his brother and all his friends and he doesn't know. So I think that's almost worse. No, it's not. <laughs> that is what we're going to do, though. <laughs> we're going to kill. We're going to kill everybody. And he's not going to be any the wiser. He'll just be guarding everything forever. <laughs> Until he realizes that they're all dead. 
I haven't even gone to, uh, I didn't even go up to the gray beards yet. So we should like probably do that at some point too. I end up doing like the same thing with this that I end up doing with, uh, with fallout is that I don't care about the main story that much and it's kind of short. So I do way more stuff with the, the side quests. I end up doing way more things with the side quests. I guess there's a way to play this as well um, so that you don't have to have the Civil War. Like, it just kind of, like, gets canceled. They're just kind of like, oh, okay, never mind then. Hey, the Greybeard part is so slow. That's one of the reasons why I don't like doing it because the Greybeards kind of irritate me because they take 7,000 years to do everything and I don't have time for that. I don't want to, I don't want to go listen to these old men scream at me for like 10 minutes. Like the DLC stories more in Skyrim. I like Hearthfire because I like houses. <laughs> I was super, super pumped about that though. Um, when that one first came out that you could, uh, that you could do the houses. I like the dragon. No, Dawn Guard. I like the Dawn Guard one with the vampires. That one's pretty cool. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna release the hound, Smithers. Ooh, ow. Did you fall on your sword after I killed you? He was spurting. What'd you say to me? There we go. All right. He's he's gonna shut up now, I guess. But I do. I always end up doing the side quests like way more than anything else because I have more fun with the side quests and that kind of thing oh we are a vampire also for anybody that came in later or um a werewolf sorry werewolf we're werewolf we are a werewolf uh, uh, I'm not gonna bring it with me we are a werewolf and I currently have the steed stone activated I went to the steed stone off stream just to do the increased carry weight. I almost forgot about it. Because I hadn't played this game in a while. And I was like, why can I not freaking carry anything? Like, why is my carry weight so poop? And then I was like, oh, Steed Stone. Better go get that. So I did. Like the vampires in the Dragonborn. Yeah, I like the Dawn Guard one. So I do sometimes, it depends. Like a lot of the time, no, I kind of just take it so that I'm immune to disease. But there have been times that I've played it where I do actually like use it. But most of the time I don't bother. It's, it's really is just a thing so that I'm immune to disease. Because you don't get, like, as much stuff. And then I don't like being a vampire. So if I... So if you're a vampire, you can turn into a werewolf. But if you're a werewolf, you can't turn into a vampire. So I don't know why. It lets it, lets it go one way, but not the other. I guess werewolf is stronger than vampire gene-wise. Unless that's been updated or changed um since the last time i looked at it but like you can be a werewolf and not turn into a vampire but if you're a vampire you can turn into a were you can be changed into a werewolf i don't know i don't know what is that just an iron great sword isn't there a chest up here there it is Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> a new hand touches new the, hand beacon. Touches the beacon. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. Return my beacon. 
beacon's amount of kill creeps. I like Meridia be Meridia's beacon I quest. I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. For Dawnbreaker. I was nagging him about it. I was like, hey. Hey. Well, no. I say that, but I don't mean it in an annoying way. He asked me to help him when he was playing it because he's never played Skyrim regular like this. He only ever played it in VR and he didn't play it that much. And when he played it in VR and he was asking people things, no one answered him. So like he didn't know how to do the potion crafting, you know, the, the alchemy crafting. He didn't know how to do the enchanting because he was asking people to help him that were there back in the day and nobody said anything. So I was helping him <laughs> so that he knew stuff that he could do. You can turn into the vampire vampire while being a werewolf. Did they change it then? Because you you used to not be able to. You could be a werewolf. And uh, if you were werewolf first, you couldn't be a vampire. Unless you got rid of your werewolfism. <gasps> a goose! Quack, quack. I have a goose mod. It's very necessary. Look at him go. Go, little goose, go! <laughs> What do you mean it's an unnecessary mod? You're wrong. <laughs> Just realize since you are dual wielding, you can go, you can get two weapon type bonuses. Yeah, I'm pretty pumped about it. I can put like different enchantments on them and shit. Use a werewolf, transform to run faster across the map because you have the frostfall map and it makes it easier to get somewhere without freezing death. Yeah, exactly. Because with frostfall, you have to really pay attention to like what you're wearing and stuff. I've thought about getting Frostfall, and then I was like, mmm, <laughs> sounds hard, <laughs> so I didn't get it. Her final quest, uh, her final, uh, quest boss is a pain in the ass for Meridia's Beacon, for sure. And then I never even used Dawnbreaker either, like, I just get it, and I'm like, meh, I don't care. Oh, he did not cry. He better not have. I'll beat him up. The latency made it impossible. I believe it. I mean, it was also forever ago, too. Because since he was uh, since he was in VR, everything was just coming into his headset and whatever. So, I was just hanging out to help to make it a little bit easier. Sword bonus crit and the axe bleed damage. And the oh, yeah, I have that. Um, uh, yeah, we have that. Boop. They have it in the two-handed as well. Like, you can get um, Limb Splitter and then Deep Wounds and Skull Crusher, whatever. Um, I'm using the War Axes, so I've been going for the uh, this one with the Axes. That's the one that I've been, the, ones that, the one that I've been doing. What were we going to put? I'm going to put a point finally. Oh, my God. So we should have an armor bonus. Armor rating. Because I should be wearing all light armor. Light, light, light. Yeah. Unless I need a hat, too. Does my scarf count? There. Do we look really cool now? Oh, actually that looks pretty. The elven helmet actually fits with that armor, so that's fine. Internet was, I mean, yeah, your internet was pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. It was fun with me there. See, someone appreciated me existing. <laughs> How do you weapons in each hand? You can get two bonuses. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Watch the skies, traveler. We could we could put stuff into two trees. We could do the one for the axes, and we could do one for something else. I gotcha. I was confuzzled. 
I gotcha. I never do a dual wield either. This is the first time I've ever done one. I, I'm normally a heavy armor to uh, two handed weapon person. And run like a more like a more tanky type character is what I usually do. So it's new it's new for me as well. Damn those gray beards to your lady. Damn those gray beards to your mum. I don't wanna work tomorrow. Who wants to go to work for me? I like some dumbass hoes because they don't understand the concept of Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, he was the, the, oh, well, I, oh, I can't call you your name anymore. Because it's your, your name name, and I promised that I wouldn't do it on, in stream anymore, since it was, uh, per, per your, per your requesty poo-poos. So I can't, I can't even say, I can't say your fun name anymore. What a, what a, whatever shall we do? <laughs> Daddy Dalla. <laughs> Daddy Dalla D. We could do that, actually, I guess. With respect, companion, I've asked a few of your friends muzzle that dog. Muzzle what dog? You mean me? That's the only downside of when you're a werewolf is you go into places and they're like, you smell like a wet dog. And it's like, you're rude. <laughs> Oh yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us do. But per his, per his uh, request, um, I am no longer saying what it is in strims. I was gonna say it should be da Daddy Dollar Big D is almost what I said to him. Why was I allowed to come in here when she's not here? That was kind of weird. It's television. Yes, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what it is. That was really weird that it just let me like waltz right in here when she wasn't in. If I would try to go into Bellathor's like that, it wouldn't let me. Um, uh, da, da, da. Hopefully she'll be back in here. I'm trying to buy as many giant's toes if she has any. Take a look. And uh fire salt this is the same inventory i believe she had the last time we were here so <laughs> move everyone <laughs> everyone you interact yeah then no then nobody will know exactly nobody can know if you kill them all is there a reason i can't go in there jesus christ let me know no, Nick Valentine, I didn't. Everything. Everything's for sale here. Okay, what are we getting rid of? Uh, I don't need that. Iron great swords, great sword, warhammer, mace of sparks, and then we already tried to. Uh, Berserker. Two handed weapons. I'm not using two handed weapons. Enhance. Push them. Enhance stamina. Stamina is increased by 20 points for 30 seconds. I guess we'll keep that just in case. Just in case we need it. Push them to heal. Our restoration spells. I'm also doing a no magic run. So we're light armor, light armor, dual wielder with zero magic. It's an, It's intense. It's really not that intense. Oh, he's he's a mute now. Okay, that's fine. Bye. Who wants to be first? My cat. No, go away, you freakazoid. Oh, Tay. Let's go back to our house and make some potions. I think that's what we're gonna do for a hot minute. Yeah, no magic. No magics. Make it hard. Uh, what are we on? Let me see. I think we're on, we're on adept, which I think is just normal. I think adept is just normal. It might not be though. I don't know. I don't know. Leather, leather strips. A new hand touches the penis. That's not what she says. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. 
I don't pay attention to her. Boop. Oh, do I have any scaly fellatio? I do. We're going to plant that. Always play the game in the default. I don't even know what the default is. Is the default adept? Or is it like apprentice? I don't know. I don't pay attention enough. I don't even remember if I've ever played it on like super, super hard. I, pop, I pop, possibly did once to test it out. And then I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> if I ever get like super OPE weapons and stuff though, I do end up upping the difficulty a little bit just because it's like not as fun if it's super, super easy. I don't think. All right. I decided we're going to go ahead and put soul trap on this common with this common soul gem on our bow. All right. Uh, we're going to put it on our bow, forsworn bow. And we want soul trap. There we go. And we're going to use the common soul gem. There we go. The difficulty only seems to make like bosses harder, which is not what you want. I guess it's adept. I guess it's adept. You never touch it. Yeah, I don't know what it is. This one, um, when I started up this one, I had it on a lower level than normal. Um, I don't super, super, super remember why. I feel like I was probably testing something. Um... I feel like I was probably testing something, so I decided to lower it so that I didn't have to mess with, like, worry about messing with anything. Uh, and then, for whatever reason, I just don't have that save file or whatever anymore. So I was like, I think Adept is, is normal, but I couldn't remember. So if it's not, we'll have to change it. But I honestly do not remember what the, like, default normal is. Septum. Hammer's journal, mace etiquette. Oh, I didn't put, mean to put that on there. I like to have these bookshelves filled up. Bum, bum. But I don't care if they're like, if there's multiples in the same book, it doesn't bother me at all. And then we can put those, I guess, have to stay in my inventory. So we'll do that. I feel like I have some stuff in here. So I'm just putting some stuff in here that I don't need. Heather's increased by 40 for 60 seconds. I'm probably not going to use that strength potion, so I'm just going to put that away. And stamina. I'm probably going to forget that I have that. Extra health, true shot. I'm going to forget I have that. Water breathing. The frenzy potion and the fear potion I'm not going to use. And then I'm going to put some stuff away in here that I want to keep. The death bells I want to keep. That, the fire salts, the giant's toes. Actually, give me back those giant toes. I have a little thing next to me where I wrote down um, some recipes that are worth a lot of money. Yeah, but I wrote down some of the recipes. Look at this little journal I have. It looks like a cactus and it's fuzzy and it makes me really happy. Like how freaking cute is this thing? Oh my God. But I wrote down some recipes in here that are like really expensive and giant's toe was part of them. So it's like giant's toe, bear claws, and hanging moss. I think I have all those. Giant's toe, bear claws, and hanging moss. 
Just makes everything take longer to kill. Yeah, pretty much. Bear claws. What was it? Bear claw, giant's toe, and hanging moss, right? Oh, look at that potion. It's worth a fuckload of money. And then the other one... What's what here? Blue butterfly, blue flower, and a giant's toe. Blue butterfly. And a blue flower. Look at that. Okay. And then I have ones written down that don't need the uh, giant's toe. So there's a glow dust, the glowing mushroom, and hanging moss. I should have all those. Glow dust. Do I not have any glowing mushrooms? I guess I don't have any glowing mushrooms. But I did. Creep cluster. I don't know if I have any of those. I do not. Bear claws I don't have. Alright, well, I ran out of the ones that make the super, super expensive things. But I remember if you put, like, the all the blue things together, it's pretty decent. Like, if you do this, yeah. And then I do want to make some restore health potions. Da, 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 da. So that we have them. Da, da, da. Did I not? eat wheat yet there's a few things I didn't eat to know what they do hmm and then damage health I want to make some poison and by some I mean a bunch <laughs> Off for the night. Oh, no worries, Kaboom. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. I very much appreciate you stopping by. It's always good to see ya. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your uh, evening, and I will see ya when I see ya. But thank you very much for stopping by and hanging out with us tonight. Always a good time when you come hang out with us. We're getting kind of close to the end here anyway, so no worries at all. I'm just gonna do some random things here with some stuff. Oh, there we go. Tree, see this tree sparrow egg? Tree sparrow claw and tree sparrow egg. Those are ones that I got when I uh, managed to kill one of those birds. Making potions is a fantastic way to make money in this game. And I don't mind risking losing some stuff if I find out that something is uh, worth a, a, bunch of, a bunch of money. I will risk it. We'll be able to go sell all this stuff. It's also a really easy way to up your, uh, you can get levels decently fast from doing alchemy stuff. 
But this is why sometimes I'll just go ingredient hunting. And I'll go just try to find a bunch of ingredients. And then make a bunch of potions and then sell them. I'm trying to do your knockoff Keurig thing. Ooh, I used mine earlier and it was for my tea and it was delightful. So I hope it works out good for you. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go sell a bunch of these potions and then that's probably gonna be it for this evening, unfortunately, because I have been really tired and kinda like, ugh, um, for most of the day today. And I work, uh, I work tomorrow morning, so I was gonna do it a little bit shorter this evening anyway. And that's the plan, I think, because we'll be right at about time. And I'm sure Boar is still on, so we'll go ahead and raid Boar. <laughs> Since you guys were all like, nah, fuck that. We're coming here instead. <laughs> Which I very much appreciate, for sure. But you didn't have to do that. All right. We'll see if the store is open yet. It might not be. It is. Everything's for sale here. Hi again, Nick Valentine. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. I am going to start buying soul gems. But I need to be careful. Um, because I have had happen one too many times where I buy a soul gem... And it'll be, like, a decent soul gem. Uh, like, a greater or a grand, something good, a common, you know, whatever. Just a, a nicer one. And I'll put, like, a fucking shitty-ass bunny rabbit soul in it on accident. Lockpicking. I'm never gonna use that. Alright. Pause for a minute. Lingus, stamina, poison. Poison, poison. Damage, magic, regen. I'm just gonna sell these. Look at that. We're going to sell all of those. Damage magic. Yeah, we're going to sell all those. Ravage magic, I will keep. Uh, target is 11% weaker to poison. So we'll keep those because we can use one of those first and then use a poison. Uh, fortify conjuration. We'll sell all these. These fortify health potions are neat, but I'm going to sell them. coffee smells dank good i'm glad it smells good did the did the machine work fine for you what if i sneak and then i made a bunch of healing potions hi i hear you what are you crying about meow 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 generates versus fire resist frost Resist poison. I don't care about that because I don't need to resist poison. Restore health. Restore health. Storm magic. We don't need that. Solution of health. And then weak magic poison. All right. Well, we made a bunch of money. Uh-huh. All right. Doesn't he sound like a baby? He's my little baby. No, and he's done growing, too. He's a big boy. He's a big grown-up, like, one and a half, almost, maybe almost two-ish year old kitty cat. He's a big boy. But he's really tiny. He only weighs four pounds, so he's, like, a tiny. Also, here's the goosey. Look at him go. Go, little goosey. Go. Isn't he cute? All right. Quit. No, no, no. I want to save. So we're going to do a hard save. And then I'm going to quit to desktop. And then we'll give uh, Mr. Boar a raid here. Um, bum, 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 ba, da, da. Let's go ahead and turn that off. We'll see if my outro screen wants to work today. It does. Isn't that lovely? Thank you. Isn't that nice? Thank you. Thank you for finally working the way that you're supposed to for fucking once. All righty here. Oh, yeah. Boar's still on. He's playing Halo 3. Is what Boar is playing. So let's get this set up here. 
to read Mr. Bulwer. There we go. But have a fantastic rest of your night, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, that left Boris to come over here. I very much appreciate it. You didn't have to do that. But have a fantastic rest of your day. I always appreciate you stopping by. I'm pretty sure everybody here is peeps that I hang out with all the time. But if you're new and you're just lurking, which is totally fine, I do have a Discord if you're interested at all. It's the best place to keep up with when I'm going to actually be streaming. But yeah, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. We're going to go raid Boar. He's very lovely. If you don't know him, he has a very fun voice that you will get to enjoy as soon as we get over there. But yeah, have a great night, guys. I will see you when I see you. Uh, going to be on Friday is the next day that I'm streaming. Time is a little bit earlier than usual. It is at 7 uh, it says 7 a.m. on my thing. I need to change that to 7 p.m. Um, it is at 7 instead of 7.30. Um, and also, it is only going to be for about two hours. Um, that is just due to work bullshit, unfortunately. But that is that is what's going on. But yeah, have a nice night. Uh, for me anyway, I don't know what time it is for you, but yeah, I will see ya when I, uh, see ya. Bye.